Happy Wednesday, everyone. Stella Chung here with your daily fix of gaming news. You can teach an old god some new tricks with the God of War Ragnarok New Game Plus mode that just dropped. No Man's Sky is also getting some major updates and is Dr. Mario a legitimate healthcare provider? Shigeru Miyamoto's expert opinion may shock you. Let's a go. <laughs> God of War Ragnarok was definitely not light on content at launch, but the new Game Plus update that dropped today is great news for anyone who's still got a Leviathan axe to grind. But wait, there's more. The official PlayStation blog posted a thorough breakdown of what's included in the update. As you'd expect, the new Game Plus lets you replay the campaign a second time using all the stats, gear, and skills you unlocked on your first playthrough. That includes the drop near spear that is huge for certain areas, but it does not include the sonic and hex arrows. And keep in mind you can't visit areas that require those weapons to access until the point in the story where you'd normally unlock them. Kratos is also getting a ton of new wardrobe options, including the armor of the black bear, the fur cloak that he's rocking at the beginning of the game, and he'll start NG Plus with it equipped. The stats focus on strength and defense, and there's a perk that rewards last second evades with a volley of Bifrost shards. That's one way to interpret the old saying, fur is murder. If you'd rather Kratos show a little bit more skin, like I would, or show what you're really made of, there's also the Spartan armor, which is quite literally Spartan with no perk, no stats, and locked at power level one. If you like shirtless Kratos, yes I do, but don't want the added challenge, you can always steal the look by transmogging this armor onto another stat. There are a few more brand new armor sets that will add a twist to the gameplay, and 13 existing armor sets are now available with this spring's hottest new colorways. Of course, if you hate color entirely, there's also a new black and white rendering mode unlocked for NG+. As for actual game changers, there's a ton to keep hardcore players busy. For starters, there's a new increased level cap, new enchantments to let you remix your builds, and fine tune your stats and traits, and even burdens, which are negative enchantments that will give you added challenges. A bunch of new enemies will be showing up in the Nilfheim sparring arena, and you'll now be able to play as Kratos or Atreus, and have Freya, Brock, Sindri, and Graboda, Ingrid, Thor, or Thrud as your companion. And of course, the endgame bosses have learned some new tricks for NG+, so expect the Berserker Souls and the Valkyrie Queen Gana to put up more of a fight. As if that wasn't enough already. If you want the full breakdown of all the new features for the Ragnarok NG Plus update, head over to IGN or just load up the game and see for yourself. The other major update dropping today is the No Man's Sky Interceptor update, which will see a number of worlds becoming corrupted. Not like your save files have been corrupted, but like an evil entity is causing all sorts of bad stuff to happen in space. The update from Hello Games outlines what to expect, and you'll find yourself exploring planets shrouded in a purple haze and covered in strange crystals that have twisted the Sentinel Guardians into bizarre new forms. Expect to run across new giant spider-like enemies and their horrible crab-like children, as well as corrupted drones that utilize flamethrowers, stealth tech, and explosives, so keep your guard up. A new ship type is being added as well, which has promised to be the most varied class to date. The PSVR 2 version should be seeing some improved visuals and wrist interface controls, but Xbox players shouldn't feel left out, as Hello Games promises a renewed focus to improve visuals and performance across the board on consoles. Considering this is the 25th free update to No Man's Sky, I think it's safe to take the studio's word on this. It's awesome to see the studio continue to support the game, but also constantly add new content regularly. This game came out in 2016, and this game constantly feels super fresh with all of these updates. Finally, this next shocking story has sent waves throughout the gaming and healthcare industries. Dr. Mario may not be as qualified a medical professional as we were led to believe. Who would spread such wild slander? Well, Mario's creator himself, Shigeru Miyamoto. Speaking to IGN about the Super Mario Bros. movie, which hits theaters this week, the legendary game designer explained that the movie brought out a new side of the character, really letting him shine as an everyman hero, but also called into question his qualifications to practice medicine. Mario's a blue collar. He's a regular person, Miyamoto said. So even when he becomes Dr. Mario, there's sort of like shadiness, like, can I trust this person? He also went on to add, that remained in the film, and I think that's the kind of image that's carried down for generations as Mario. And to see that image kind of coincide and then evolve into something of a hero is something that I'm really happy to see. 
Um, okay, so that's great and everything, but let's get back to the trustworthiness. I, for one, am suddenly questioning how sanitary it is for a healthcare worker to use a sewer system to commute to work. And now that you mention it, it does seem kind of suspect that a doctor's only means of combating a viral infection would be to physically throw vitamin capsules at it. What's next, Miyamoto? Are you gonna tell me this guy isn't licensed to drive a go-kart? I need to go process all this and possibly make some calls to various medical boards. But if you'd like more insight on this so-called doctor, go check out IGN's review for the Mario movie. And for all the latest gaming news, make sure you're following IGN wherever you get your fix.